Hey everybody, so just to kind of walk you through how I went through this process, the first thing was choosing something that I felt like was the best. And so legitimately, I feel like Wegmans Sparkling Water, the ginger flavor is the best. And you can't get it here in Texas, so I'm really sad, but I'm still going to talk about it because I feel so strongly about it. So my claim is that it's the best sparkling water on the market. The reasons are the powerful bubbles, the flavor, and it's also cheap. Um, it's a store brand. And so my evidence, I just took little notes like brainstorming, nothing really specific um, or fleshed out, but just that the bubbles are super forceful and they also don't go away as you're drinking it. The flavor doesn't taste chemically. It just tastes like just like natural ginger, which is really good. And it, I mean, it's really strong. It'll make you sneeze if you drink if you like open it and start drinking it right away, it'll make you sneeze, which is kind of funny. Um, and it's not, it's not expensive. It's a store brand. So I just transferred my thinking to the single paragraph outline. And if you haven't filled one of these out before, it's super easy. You put, um, you make your claim and you, that's your topic sentence. So I put the topic sentence as my opener and my closer for now. I'm going to go back and revise my closing sentence, my concluding sentence later. But we know that when we write a paragraph that are essentially opener and closer are going to say about the same thing, but we're going to reword it at the bottom. But I don't want to do that till after I made the rest of my paragraph. So I just put my little notes, not even complete sentences necessarily, um, on these lines. I only had to have three reasons for the assignment, so I just left the fourth, fourth one blank. If you have four reasons, um, that's totally fine. I, I didn't do more work than the assignment asked me to do, to be totally honest. So I'm just doing it like that. So then I went in. I did my initial kind of thinking like this is a statement, a declarative sentence up here. So I shifted my my last one to a question for now. I might revise it again later also. I haven't done anything in the middle here. The next thing I did was I went in and expanded that first sentence. So initially I was saying powerful bubbles don't go away quickly, but I added a few things. Um, I tried to make it so that the person reading my paragraph would sort of experience what I experience when I drink the water. So the first thing you do is open the can. And then what happens? You're overpowered by the force of fiery bubbles. So I tried to add some imagery and actually some alliteration there, force and fiery, to sort of bring attention to just how powerful those bubbles are. And then I added a little transition, even better, the intensity will still be there when you get to the bottom of the can, because if you're a sparkling water person, you might realize that sometimes it'll taste like really strong at the beginning, but then it's like just super gross by the end. And that doesn't happen with this one. It just stays super strong the whole time. It's kind of like if you ever had gum and the gum only tastes good for like a minute, it's like finding gum that lasts a long time if you're a sparkling water kind of person. So I added um, a transition kind of preposition there and just to say like what the experience is and then next the thing you would do is take a sip right so when you take a sip it's not like the other sparkling waters there's no chemical taste it's pure ginger it's like natural and it could make you kind of cough um, so I tried again to do that imagery to give the person reading it the experience that I would have and then next we're talking about that it's inexpensive. And so I kind of want to explain why that's important. You'd probably think such a great water experience would be expensive, right? Well, no, it's a store brand. So it's actually less expensive than the more famous, less delicious brands you've seen on TV and in movies. I'm honestly thinking about La Croix there, but um, I wasn't going to call them out in the paragraph, but that's what I was thinking because La Croix is actually not even close to being as good as this, even though it's like the more famous one that shows up in memes and on TikTok and everything like so I'm trying to keep my review kind of more casual. I'm using you and I'm, it's almost like I'm talking to the person um, using my voice. And so that's why I'm using those kinds of questions and writing in second person. And then you can see I decided to actually change my concluding sentence so that it included a little piece of each one of my sentences. So if you're tired of weak bubbles, I'm shooting back to I'm kind of giving a call back to sentence one there about the bubbles. Um, I talk about the taste because I talked about the taste in sentence two. And then I talked about the money in down here because that's what I talked about in sentence three. So it really ties the whole paragraph together and makes it um, what we call coherent because 
it has all the components and, and turns them into one. And so then why not try the best, which is what I had there. But then I just added like, these are the reasons it's the best. So my next step would be to transfer this into an actual paragraph. I think I have a little bit of grammar stuff I might want to pay attention to. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I need all my commas or I, I might need to rephrase some things, but this is how I kind of worked through the thinking and the rough draft. And then for my picture, I picked this. And at this point, you may decide to create some kind of like type it out into a paragraph. You might end up making yours into like a, a video. Um, or you might end up making it into a slide deck to kind of sell your thing, whatever it is it is, maybe an infographic, advertisement, however you want to take it, whatever your teacher tells you to do. I just kind of wanted to share my thinking and how I sort of flushed mine out and how I revise my sentences if it helps you kind of get an idea of what you might want to do with yours. So I hope that you have fun with this, making your claim, coming up with your reasons and evidence, and I can't wait to see what y'all recommend.